another question that's been coming in a lot since we teach people about the to mead, the morning and evening appointed times for worship at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. A lot of people are saying, well, they work during those hours, and is it okay if they observe the Tamid at other hours? Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, we find the Tamid in uh, the daily uh, sacrificial time. We find that originally in numbers. Uh, but if we do a little tiny bit of digging, we're going to see that before that time. In, in actual fact, I believe that the Tamid was given in the Garden of Eden. It says that God came walking in the cool of the day. So that would be in the, in the morning probably, in the morning of the day. Adam and Eve seemed to know when he was going to show up. And that's when they were hiding. They weren't just hiding at any time arbitrarily. They knew what time he was going to show up. And that's what the Tamid is. It's an appointment no different than any of the other appointments. And you take the Sabbath. You take the new moons, you take Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and so on, uh, right through to Tabernacles, which would obviously include uh, trumpets, and the Day of Atonement through Tabernacles. Also, we don't want to miss Pentecost in there in the summer. So we have all these appointed times. So it just by definition, appointed time would tell us that the Tamid also is an appointed time. So what, I, what I'm telling people is, yes, it's, it's just as much as an appointed time as, the, um, as any of the uh, monthly, weekly, annual festivals. So, so yes, it is an appointed time. Now, I'm uh, right now, I've retired. I shouldn't really say I'm retired. I'm working harder than I ever have, uh, than I ever have in my life. Uh, preparing our ark of uh, safety and so on for the time of trouble that's coming that will be unlike any other time of trouble. But I'm at a place in my life where I can honor the Tamid times uh, freely. I don't have anyone telling me I can't. Uh, but when I did work, I used to work at a college and teaching. When I did work, I would just remember that time I would, you know, take a little out of the room, out of the, the classroom, and so on, and just remember what my Creator and Redeemer has done. Uh, we see in the book of, uh, I believe it's in Mark, in talking about the crucifixion, that Yeshua um, was put on the stake at the time of the crucifixion, and that, it tells us the third hour of the day, which would have been 9 o'clock in the morning for us on a different uh, setting like the Gregorian timekeeping. Back in the Jewish time, that would have biblical times, that would have been nine o'clock in the morning. And it says he gave up the ghost at three o'clock in the afternoon or the ninth hour as recorded in scripture, which would have been three o'clock in the afternoon. And we see that John and uh, Peter actually went up to the temple after the resurrection and so on. And this was at, it says, the hour of prayer. And I find it very interesting. It doesn't say the hour of sacrifice. I don't overlook that for a moment. Um, because my personal opinion is that we don't sacrifice animals. But in Scripture, in the New Testament, it's recorded it being the hour of prayer. And this we can go back into the Old Testament. We see in Daniel where Daniel prayed three times a day. And this was another question somebody came in with. Well, it says Daniel prayed three times a day. They did that in the morning, noon, and in the afternoon. That was, that was called the evening sacrifice as the sun was um, just before it was setting. In the afternoon at three o'clock, they would have the afternoon sacrifice or the evening sacrifice and of course none of these sacrifices were allowed to go out they had to keep a fire on the altar at all times which goes along with what Paul says to pray without ceasing the smoke of the incense or uh, we see this in the book of Revelation are the prayers of the saints so the smoke is represented as the prayers of the saints so we never want to let that fire go out but they had an appointed time where they, as it were, relit the sacrifice or put it on the altar at that time. So this, to me, is a time, a special time. We take time out during the day. 
uh, take a few minutes whatever you can whatever you can do you know as we are doing what we can do to meet the father uh, as the parable says as Yeshua said the father actually goes out to meet his wayward son and meets him part way and this is what God is doing for us as we're doing what we can do to return to him he will always meet us out there somewhere coming to us uh, so this is what what uh, I believe that to me it is actually the most difficult it's a daily twice a day uh, but it's a reconnect with the father it's not a works thing it's a reconnect Yeshua told us that this is life eternal that we know the only true God and Yeshua whom he has sent these uh, appointed times are not about works they're about knowing God and um, his will for our lives so this to me the to me time I I've, I've been keeping it now for whew, nearly 30 years I guess and um, it's it's really been beneficial to me uh, I've grown to know my Creator and Redeemer uh, much better because of that because I have more appointed time to reflect and God meets us at those appointed times. That's not to say he doesn't meet us at other times, but appointed times are special. So uh, thank you for listening again. And um, we do appreciate hearing your questions. Please uh, send us your questions via email, comments on videos, and so on. And we thank you again for hearing us. God bless.